Yo homes, welcome back to another Illustrator tutorial. In this one, I'll teach you how to do a duo tone effect on raster images in Illustrator. So basically, we'll be turning this into this. And without much ado, let's begin. A duotone has two colors, a darker one and a lighter one. So we'll start with the darker one. With our images ready, we'll first create a shape. Let's assume a rectangle of the darker color. Now we will place the shape over the image and turn its blending mode to our opposite style to color. This will colorize the image according to the color of the shape depending on the darkness of the part so by this the darkest part of the image will be of the color of the shape and the lightest part will be a lighter shade to the extent of white with the darker part done now we'll move on the lighter part we'll make a duplicate of the shape and change its color to the lighter shade of the duo for this, I'm going with the, my favorite shade of blue. You can choose anything, of course. And now we'll change its blending mode of opacity style to multiply. That what we'll do is change everything below it to the color of the shape with the lightest part of it, the color of it, of the shape, and the darkest part of it, a darker color of the shade to the extent of Black. This basically completes the duotone. Now, if you select uh, any of the rectangles and change its color, you will see that the color of the duo uh, the duotone also changes. That's how it's basically done. Now you can uh, experiment with it and uh, use it in the form you want to be. Add elements to it, play with it till you get what you are looking for. By the way, if you are wondering about the particular compound shape I am using, um, there's something I'm planning. That's something that's coming. Just uh, be a little patient and stay tuned. I guess it'll be there. Just, just be a patient. Just, you know, all right. So this completes the tutorial. Now you gotta keep in mind that doing this in Illustrator is not as precise and perfect as Photoshop. Link in the description below. Uh, because Illustrator is not made for doing stuff like this. It's a vector tool, not a raster editing tool. But it can save you some trouble when you wanna do some small part of it and don't want to switch to Photoshop just for it. Because we are all lazy, at least I am. All right, homes. Thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe for most of videos and do give it a like and hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload new more videos. And use the comment section to let you know what you think, your suggestions, queries, etc. Uh, follow me on other social media, especially Instagram. Link in the description below. And thanks again. See ya. Keep creating and stay up. Bye-bye.